I think it's the discovery process that um, helps us find our way. Sometimes we don't know exactly where we're going, but we always come back to the big idea that we're trying to achieve. What I found very exciting here is sort of the courage to break away from this set pattern and to say, why do we not try something else, even though this has been the pattern for so long? And I find that immensely gratifying. Just solving a problem, but bring it to a next level and make it really something else. I grew up in Portugal in a very, very small town uh, around a lot of green. <laughs> it, it sort of moved me towards uh, thinking of architecture and like buildings is like integrated in a context not so much as you know sculptural pieces that are standing out. Green spaces and terraces and balconies to, to apartments and apartment units in the, in the city and try to give them more uh, kind of natural uh, environment. Public spaces on roofs and um, little pocket parks actually kind of in the more vertical sphere. Cubes create maximum outdoor spaces and corner windows. Projections and cantilevers. And trying to get more out of a building. Uh, trying to connect people socially. We've inherited a certain moment in architecture. The street doesn't just meet the front of the building and it's just this wall, but it's like inhabiting that wall. What we use to design our facade is depth and, and space. Basically using architecture to affect all of our senses. And we are not just uh, getting into uh, the fact that uh, architecture is just only one thing, is materials, is, uh, is a technique, is, uh, architecture can also be human. We seem to have like this bond and I don't know, it's the project, it's the people. But this is our, we're like a family because we're all so far from home so, so that's what's, it's like a strength. There is a voice, an equal voice to everyone, I think. We have a single goal and everybody contributes in different aspects. For me, growing up, what home was, was a place for your friends and family to come over. You spend all of the major holidays and all of the major life changes with them when you bring your kids home, when you go off to school for the first time. So what we do for a living is we facilitate the spaces where people can create these experiences. I think we care more about the work we're doing than the average designer. The end goal for me is to build something that makes a better place. And I think that our buildings can ultimately um, create a city that is more uh, equal for everyone.